To music. To music. To our favorite bands. You forgot the apostrophe again. Hi. Hi. I'm Jason. And I'm Tim. We each have a favorite band that I think we're very passionate about. I think so too. Yeah. So what's yours? My favorite is the Cat Empire. They're an Australian band from Melbourne. And we've actually seen them in concert together. Yes, up in Vancouver, BC. And they were wonderful. It was probably the best concert I've ever been to. Probably because I love them so much. Uh, yeah. I say, I wouldn't say that, but it was a really, really good concert. They were just like, they're a great live band. They are fantastic in concert. And I love, I have a lot of respect for bands that are really, really great in concert. I believe it was their 10th anniversary tour. I've been there um, since 2002. And how would you how would you describe their music to somebody who doesn't know what it is? It is a blend of jazz, ska, punk, and a bunch of other things. Like Irish drinking songs? A little bit like Irish drinking songs, there's still like some polka and yeah. some yeah. Some stuff in there. It's kind of funny how I, how I found them. So, I don't know if you know the song, Misere. It's, you would know it if you heard it, it's like a Gregorian chant type yeah, okay. thing that uh, is, it was part of a piece of work that was, that was only performed in the church. Right. And if you wrote it down or like transcribed it in any way or performed it somewhere else, you would have been excommunicated. Okay. And somebody who wrote it down was a 14 year old Mozart. Oh, jeez. After the Pope found out that he had done that, called him back and instead of excommunicating him, congratulated him for writing down this amazing piece of music. Because it was probably note for note and absolutely perfect. Probably. <laughs> anyway, I was searching for a live version of this and mm -hmm. I came across the title and it was a band called The Cat Empire and I listened to it and it was it's nice. So they did a live version of a classical piece? It was, or in concert or it, on it's, an album? It's a, it's a completely different song. It oh. just had the same name. Oh. I looked down at the, you know, when you're looking on YouTube and they got the little suggestions for you and mm -hmm. like, from the same band, a song called Le Hotel de California. It was yes. a French cover, like a, a cover in French of Hotel California by the Eagles. Awesome. Yeah. And so I was like, look at this. It, it was and it's a really, really good cover. Bienvenue à l'Hotel de Californie. C'est tellement belle. From there, I went on to like, oh, it's like, what else does this band do? The next song I clicked on was a song called The Wine Song. Oh God, yes. Which is like one of the best drinking songs I've ever heard. Yeah, and from great. then on, I was like, I was hooked. Then I, I just started listening to everything I could get my hands on and buying everything that I could, I, that I could find. Awesome. But yeah, that's my favorite band. So my favorite band is another band that's really great live, and uh, they've been around a little longer than Cat Empire, but only oh, 10 wow. years. <laughs> only 10 years. Only 10 years. They've been around for 20 years, and they are Pearl Jam. I really discovered them right as I was graduating high school. I was literally cooking lunch in my apartment and had MTV on in the other room, and I heard silence. So I walked out just in time to see the beginning of the Jeremy video. Like I was standing there with the spatula in my hand just watching this video like, what is this? And like my quesadilla burned and like I, I remember where I was when I heard this song. I checked the CD out from the library and had it in my disc man for an entire month. <laughs> I think that's all I listened to for an entire month. After Vitology they did No Code and they did Yield. When this came out, like I sort of went, wow, Ed's not angry anymore. Like it's, it's come become this whole other thing. Verses and, and, and Ten are, are very angry albums, and, and that was, I think, something I needed to go through. Right. By the time they made it to Yield, like, I'd grown up, and I'd calmed down, and I'd, you know, sort of found relationships, and I'd, you know, made peace with the idea that I was turning into my father, and, like, I was totally <laughs> fine with that, you know? Like, so Yield was kind of the album where Pearl Jam kind of did their thing. I think that was the first point when I realized that I felt like I was locked in with this band. Like, like their progression that they've gone through as a band, like, I'm right there with them. Like, 2003, 2004, I went back to school. I went to a very liberal university that was very much like 
like, oh, we're boycotting this and we're looking at that and we're talking about this and we're doing that. And in the process of going back to school, I got really aware of politics. And right in that era, well, this album came out and it's like their most politically aware album. You know, there's songs on it like Worldwide Suicide that talk about what George Bush was doing at the time and how that made us feel and how I was like in Germany living there at the time going like, holy crap, the whole world is gone insane. And it was at this point where I was seriously like, have they gotten in my head? Are they like actually writing songs like to my brain? One thing interesting to talk about them about is that they release basically every concert they do. As they a do. They do. They've done that since about 2000. That like blows my mind. I'm like, yeah. why the hell doesn't every band do that? Well, and what's cool about that is I literally have most of the concerts I've seen them. These, I've, I was here. I right. was at these shows. Yeah. That's something I wish like every band would do. I would gladly like pay like, you know, whatever for the one thing that you were actually at. Pearl Jam is able to do that because they don't ever play the same set twice. Right. Yeah, you so. know, in that same vein where Pearl Jam doesn't play the same live set, I noticed when we saw the Cat Empire, you saw Felix, the lead singer, you would change it up a little bit. You'd go yeah. and tell the band that, yeah. like, we're doing this song. So yeah, so I mean, I think we both have really clear favorite bands and we both are, are very passionate about the bands that we love. And, and uh, you know, I think that's a great thing. So tell us about what bands you love, what bands are your favorite bands or, or groups or, 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 or solo artists or singers, songwriters. What music do you love? What is your favorite? And subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll be around. See ya. Bye.